you. That's the road we came in on last night, which was totally dry. And this that I said was a wash last night, and Travis said, no, it's some type of runoff, is now raging. My GPS is on here. The road that we came in on, which is now gone. camping over here right outside east southeast of uh, Mecca Mecca California which is in the Coachella Valley um, this is the Coachella Canal up here on top the berm the other side is a concrete Coachella Canal this is the berm for it, it keeps the flash flooding from the Mecca Hills Those, you see some canyons up there. Coming down, it's almost like a dike. All this flowing down, hitting the uh, Coachella Canal, which uh, runs across all this. So, it, so they dug this trench. It's normally dry. It never has water. In it. This is just a kind of protection, seasonal ditch. It actually had a road along the bottom of it, believe it or not. When we got here. Has went from a stream to absolute river. I'm talking over with that. And the stuff that's in it, it's a true flash flood. The stuff that it is in it. road over here that we came in on, which I have to show you, is actually, this road is a stream, not a river, but a stream because all this little, this big flat, I guess the type of floodplain, I didn't think it could make it from those canyons way over there across this big flat expanse and turn into anything substantial up there on this big flat floodplain, which seems very level, it doesn't really have streams or canyons going through it at this point, but little tiny streams over there all came across that big wide open space, flowed slowly over that little berm and then onto our road. This is our road. See that? We came from over there and this is our road. Here's our road. It's our road. It is a stream all the way across it. One end to the other. It's been raining most of the day. Finally subsided, a little bit of blue skies, um, but there's a lot of darkness around us. Anyway, the fire department's trying to find us. They got my uh, GPS location from a from my cell phone call. Um, they tried to send me a text message and me respond to it and then get it that way. They were unable to. Um, but when they pulled it up, it showed we were on the opposite side of this Coachella Canal. It showed us, even when I looked on my own personal maps, it showed that we were on the east side of now, so I'm sure that's where they were looking for us. Now I've straightened them up and told them no. We are on the north side of the Chico Hotel now. So the GPS is a little bit off. Not mad. Yeah, we are talking, you know, less than a mile from here to the other side, right? So, so we got quite a bit of a bank left. I'm not totally stressing since it's not raining anymore, but we got this much of a bank. I would say that that water have to rise about eight to 10 feet to get over this bank. But this water flowing down the stream over here, um, could definitely come over and give us some water where we're at. I don't think it'd be enough to wash us away. I got a pretty good lift on my trailer with my axis flipped. Uh, the truck's a little low, but it's super heavy. It's got a big 6.2 in it. So you can see there's some water where we're at. We're on just a little bit higher ground than the road. First thing is over here, I don't know if you can see it. Right over in there, there's a pretty good stream coming down from a side canyon away up 
in the flats over there somewhere. And it has to flow like a mile from the foothills to get to this point. So it's rare that it would flow over here. And then it cuts down over through there and flows into this season. Side, go get a hotel or something, leave the truck here because there's no way to get past that over there. The river that was flowing across it literally had eaten away at least half the width of the road into these huge sinkholes, these miniature waterfalls. They actually dropped down about oh, maybe two feet, three feet. It wasn't super deep, but that was an hour and a half ago, an hour and 15. Um, so I'm sure they're bigger now. Now you can't see those holes over there where they cross our road because they're completely covered in water. So they are. EMS is stuck way down there, and we see our rescuers coming down this hill next to us. Touch just get back. Touch just get back. Helicopter rescue from a flash flood here east of Becca. That's my wife, helicopter pilot, Annie Tanaya, getting in the helicopter.
this right onto this dirt road. It does not exist anymore. We're about a mile down this dirt road in our trailer. As you can see, I've taken maybe about 10 paces trying to go walk this dirt road and my feet are covered in this sinking sand mud. I don't even think I can walk it. Somewhere over there is our trailer.